my name is Jim Parker, and I'm running for city council. They have a large position also. I want to give a shout out to the Alpha Phi Alpha fraternity on the whole Pan-Hellenic Council, Andrew Black and the Valdosta, the National Council of uh, Negro Women, and Bethel CME Church for putting this on tonight. I really appreciate the opportunity to come out and speak to you all. I'm running on a platform that can best be summarized by saying strong neighborhoods. Strong neighborhoods make a strong city. And we need to do everything we can to strengthen our neighborhoods. And not just on the west or the north side, but also the south and east sides. I've done a lot of driving over the last 16 years that I've been here. And I'm very familiar with the different neighborhoods. I've even spent a lot of time um, in District 1, 2, 3, 4, Long Five, I just, I know, I do understand what the neighborhoods are like. And here's, when I say strong neighborhoods, here's some of the things we can do to strengthen these neighborhoods. First off, sidewalks. I, I, I grew up in a city that was full of sidewalks. I grew up in the city of Detroit, and there were sidewalks everywhere. Coming here and finding streets that don't have sidewalks has been, I said, what? <laughs> Okay, you tried to save money. But here's what happens. I live on a street without a sidewalk. We have people every day walking up and down that street of all ages, day and night. And it's just not safe. I don't feel comfortable myself getting out. And I would like to. I'd like to walk down the street, meet my neighbors, talk, say, hey, how you doing? And, you know, talk and maybe get them to come out more too. Because the number one prevention of crime is eyes on the street. People getting out of their houses, onto the front, into the front yard, on their porches, or walking around. And, and, and that's a number one deterrent of crime. Secondly, bicycle paths and bike lanes. Today I saw a guy driving up my street, riding up my street on a bicycle, with a box full of groceries. <laughs> he had just come from the IGA store down the street. But, you know, I, I'm thinking, good luck, fella. <laughs> Because it's, it's not that wide of a street, and I hope the guy, people can get around you good. So, uh, thirdly, community gardens. Community gardens are a great boon to a, a, a neighborhood. They, they always have a positive effect on neighborhoods for some reason that uplifts people. And that's what you want. When you walk out your door in the morning, what you face is the city. And it can either be inspiring or maybe not so much. So the fellow, uh, Mr. Ramsey, talks about landscaping, and I totally agree with him about that. A lot of work, a lot, a lot more work needs to be done about that, and making sure our neighborhoods, what the city can do, they should do. And finally, public transportation and high-speed internet for all. Thank you. Ms. Linda Jersey.